Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and today I am going to make something with some of the items that I got from May 2022's Bargain Bead Box and I am also going to use this seashell that I got on my recent beach trip home in Florida. So let me tell you what I am planning on using. Of course we have the seashell and I'm going to use some of these um, head pin or eye pins. Um, the eye pins that we got in Bargain Bead Box are going to be great, um, except for I needed one that was a little longer for this seashell. So I got that out of my stash, as well as I did a couple of jump rings in copper. We're going to use this toggle clasp and this chain. Isn't this cool? I love this chain. And then the beads we're going to use, this is um, a strand of citrine heated chip beads. I love chip beads. I used to use chip beads when I first uh, started making jewelry quite a bit. I don't use them as much anymore, but I still, I really like them. And these are really pretty. And then we're going to use these. Aren't these pretty? They are um, six millimeter spiral faceted crystal coin beads in lavender. So let me just explain what I envision <laughs> and then as we create we'll see if that vision actually comes to pass or if I'm going to have to change things up a little bit. That's one thing when you're making jewelry. Uh, you may have a vision in mind but then you're going to have to be open to the fact that that may change due to circumstances beyond your control <laughs> when you're creating. So the plan is I'm going to take these citrine chips and these uh, lavender coin beads, aren't these pretty together? And I want to make links with these eye pins. And I also want to take these same um, beads and I want to put them um, somehow in this shell, string them up on this, bee, on this um, head pin or eye pin. Uh, oh, that one has two holes in it. Interesting. Hmm. I think I'll have to use that one. Yeah, and then have the, the beads in here and maybe up here. And, uh, and then I'm going to use this chain. Uh, so I don't need any, um, I'm not going to need any beading wire for this. All right, let's get started here. All right, let's move all this stuff. And I got some beads off here. Let's just kind of play around. I could put some chip beads on here. Let's see. Like that. And then maybe... one of those there or let's see basically what you got to do is just kind of play around with what you got until you come up with something you like oh those that that I think I'm gonna like that okay never mind on this Yeah, I like that. So that will be one of the links. And then maybe we can go, we can do opposite. We'll do some chips. Let's see, where's the hole? Okay, can find a hole, I'll go to another one. Here we go. And well, let me play around a little bit more and then I'll come back and show you what I've come up with. So I came up with two of these where I've got three chips and then one of the coin crystals in the middle and then three chips on the other side. I've made two of those. And then these, I just did every other one. Chip bead, coin bead, chip bead, ending with a coin bead. 
Um, I think I'm going to have the shell in the middle and then just put these like this and add the chain. Um, I may I may do that like that. The reason I did that, I don't know if you see how bright that citrine is there, and then we had a really bright one here. I kind of want this to look somewhat uniform as much as I could get it. Remember, this is all nature, so. But I need to now figure out if I wanted to do one more link on each side. In the meantime, I'm going to address this shell. Like I said, I wanted to hang um, like something like this in the middle here. So this is what I did to the shell. The reason I picked the shell is because we have a little bit of citrine color in it. But I took, I picked through the citrine chips and I found that one, one that would set really nicely on the seashell. I've got the lavender coin bead there. And then look, when this spins, which it's going to spin on you, you have all the citrines and then the coin bead at the bottom. And I just did a funky loop at the bottom. I didn't want it to be uniform. I kind of wanted a curve in it. And so this is going to be our pendant. And I think it's going to sit really nice there. Let me put all this together and determine whether or not I need to make some more of these. All right, I'm really liking how this is turning out. I don't think I need any more links. I wanna add this chain to it though. And what I did is I took some jump rings. Since I had a jump ring that I used in the middle here to hook all these together, see that's the center circle there is a jump ring. I also wanted to go ahead with that design and add jump rings to attach these all together. And this is really looking nice. Um, now I'm going to take some more jump rings and I'm going to attach that and then we'll have our toggle. Um, I want this to be 18 inches. I need to take into consideration the clasp. And I've got two jump rings here, and then I'll have two jump rings for the clasp. So I need to take all that into consideration before I cut my wire or cut my chain. So I have it all complete. I just took a couple of jump rings and added the toggle clasp. And so we have, I used two, four, six, seven jump rings total. And this is what it looks like on. This actually came out exactly how I envisioned it. I am so happy with it. The citrine chips really bring out that yellow color in the seashell. If this flips, it's okay. You have a little bit of interest there with the chips and the coin beads. We have a little bit of sparkle and the chain is very interesting. This is about an 18 inch length, I do believe. I will double check that. Um, yes, like it. Let me know what you think. And thanks for joining me. Y'all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.